have. Yeah, if you have family and friends there, hopefully they were able to evacuate because this storm is not weakening. Uh, it is actually strengthening as it gets closer to Florida. Here's the latest satellite imagery, and you can see the eye of the storm is right here. We're starting to see very strong outer rain bands making their way uh, from parts of Sarasota, Anna Maria Island, and up near Tampa. And the darker the color and the yellow and the orange indicates the heavier rain that we are seeing, and this is just beginning. Here's a live look out of Sarasota, 77 degrees. The breeze is out there, and yes, it is raining, but the roadways, as you can see, are quiet. Typically, this is a very busy roadway this time of the morning, not so much this morning. So we still have winds gusting to 195 miles per hour with Milton right now offshore. You can see uh, inland uh, up near Jacksonville, Orlando, only 8-mile-per-hour winds. Even uh, Tampa right now showing calm winds, but you can see this wind cone is starting to slowly progress closer and closer to the western Florida coast and that's only going to increase today. So right now, it is a Category 4. Winds gusting, as I mentioned, 195 miles per hour. It's moving in a northeast direction at 16 miles per hour. Yesterday, we thought this storm would uh, reach the Tampa area uh, as a Category 3. Now we've upgraded that to a Category 4. It is going to make its way into the Tampa area right around 2 a.m. East Coast time, 11 o'clock our time tonight, as it makes its way across and then make, uh, downsizing to a Category Category 1 by Thursday afternoon. But this is going to be a very powerful storm, and I want to show you what a Category 4 looks like. So winds, 131 to 155 miles per hour. We could see a storm surge in this area between 13 and 18 feet. Uh, all homes near the coast flooded with severe uh, water damage or destroyed. We're talking about power outages that could last months. Millions uh, could be impacted by this and significant damage to roofs, walls. And again, if we see a storm surge that the models are predicting 13 to 18 feet in some of these areas, that uh, is not livable. Uh, there will be uh, casualties if people did not get out. And, you know, some people say maybe the weather folks are uh, making this bigger than what it is. No, we're not. We have not seen a storm like this in the Gulf. Uh, we've only had 10 storms that have been this size in the Gulf, but never have we seen a storm of this magnitude hit the Tampa area. Let's take a look at the storm surge forecast map, and you can see here all of the orange and red, and then we've got our bar here kind of indicating what that is, but I put it down here. 12 to 15 feet is possible in this area around Tampa. And we were just talking to the chief. He has family in Sarasota. They have evacuated up near the Orlando area. So people are taking this serious. As we bring you back home, let's talk about our weather. We're getting a little bit of a change in terms of cooler temperatures starting out in the 60s and 70s this morning. 72 in Bakersfield, 61 in Delano, mid 60s out of Button Willow with 40s, 50s and 60s into our mountains to Hashby at 48. Grab a light jacket this morning. Clear skies and a beautiful shot. I-5 over the grapevine and around the state. Nothing really to show you today. We should be looking sunny. A little bit of a marine layer along the Southern California beaches and that'll burn off. 88 in Sacramento today, 74 in Tahoe, 81 in LA and 77 in San Diego. So we all want a break from the heat, right? Well, ridge of high pressure weakening. And we've got some cooler air out to the west that's going to start to make its way into uh, California as we round out the work weekend, head into the weekend, and it's going to hang on into early next week as well. Air quality today unhealthy for Simpson Group's AQI 150, calling for 94 in Bakersfield today, 95 in Arvin, 93 in McFarland and Wasco, Maricopa. You'll be right near 92. For the mountains at the Kernover Valley, a northwest wind, 5 to 10, 80 in Fraser Park, 79 in Bear Valley today, 90s for the Kernover Valley with 75 for Alta Sierra. And then for the desert, Mojave should be right near 92. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Tomorrow, 92, partly cloudy on Friday and 89. And look at that weekend, 83 on Saturday, 81 Sunday, Monday, and lower A's in next Tuesday. We're talking about that barbecue next Wednesday. Looking pretty good. As we take a look at the mountain forecast, also cooler weather on the way. Friday, we'll look for uh, partly cloudy skies at 81, 70s in place. Uh, Saturday, all the way through next Tuesday. And then the Kern River Valley, you're also going to get a break in the temperatures. The 90 the 80s are out. The 80s are back on Friday with lower 80s heading into the weekend. We're going to take a look at your headlines coming up right after the break.